I am president of our great fellowship that reaches all the way around the world in almost every place. And we want you to know that everybody's involved, your whole family, the ladies, the children, the young people are all included. And we just are, want your family to be a unit in this fellowship and grow together in the Lord. In fact, it was so wonderful at last year's World Convention in Miami, and then again recently in Costa Rica, to see the young children as young as five taking part. Why don't you tell them about that little young, young fellow? Oh, it was so precious. Uh, this little five-year-old came up to me, and I, they, I was so amazed how the children were so intently listening to what was going on in the meeting. They were sitting on the front row, and it was just amazing to me. And this little five-year-old comes up to me and says, Can I pray for you? And I says, You sure can. And he prayed the most beautiful prayer. And his daddy came and said, I think it's time to leave now. And he said, well, I promised this lady I was going to pray for her. So he was so cute. And, I mean, he was serious about what he was doing. It was it was really precious. And that's what it, that child's life is an impact. That What he was doing impacts his life for the rest of his life. He will never forget it. And other children won't. So it is so important to have your whole family involved so that you're one. You know, and the joy of God can come back into your life. I know a lot of people, you know, you work so hard and maybe you got a mean boss, maybe you just got a tough schedule. But the joy, uh, you know, tends to go out after a while, especially if people are, are, are not real kind to you. And there was a lady in one of our meetings and her husband was sitting on the stage. He was a, uh, a congressperson. And uh, she was sitting there, and she was very, very sad. And I had looked at her, and I really felt sorry for her. I knew that there was something wrong. What it was was that something had happened, and she just couldn't forgive her husband. And she was sitting there in great sorrow on the first row. And a little later, when the blessing of the Lord started to flow through that place, all of a sudden... She began to dance as we were singing. And I looked over and I had to look twice to see if it was the same woman because she was absolutely dancing with joy. Your sorrow can be turned to joy. Your bitterness can be turned to sweetness and blessing. And in these uncertain times in America and around the world, it's so important for you to plug in with others. Receive our positive emails. Start one of our groups right in your office. You can do it on the Internet. We'll show you how to do it. You'll be successful, and you'll be blessed right where you are. Thanks, and I are very happy to pray with you because we know that our God supplies all our needs. We know that he is able to do abundantly way above whatever we could ask or think. We know that he has great plans for you, not to bring you down, but to take you way up. We know that he wants to pour his favor upon you until your face radiates with favor and you'll receive that promotion, you'll receive that blessing, your body will be healed from the joy of the Lord, and all of those good things will happen within your family. So now we're going to pray for you right now. Can't you want to take my hands here? Lord Jesus, we just pray for our friends right now. Lord, you know the needs that they have. Some are financial. Some need a job. Some need a better job. Some need a promotion, Lord. Some need healing in their body. Some need a miracle in their family. Whatever that is, we know that whatever is impossible with man is possible with God. So in the name of Jesus, we receive that blessing right now. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're the God of the impossible. And no matter what your situation is today, God wants to meet your needs. He will touch you at every level. He is for you and not against you. And I believe that the Lord is going to do miracles in your life today. Expect it. Believe it. Believe this very day that he will do the miracle that you need, whether it's health, finances or your children whatever it is God is the God of the impossible thank you Lord we thank you because you're with us thank you Lord